Gastroenterologists are frequently asked to evaluate patients with chest pain. Um, it's imperative that first and foremost cardiac etiologies are ruled out. When the pain is severe, that's typically done through the emergency room, but certainly if it's not a severe problem, it's best evaluated through either a cardiologist or their primary care physicians. Once cardiac etiologies have been ruled out, then other potential cause of pain can be sought. It turns out that uh, other potential causes for chest pain that are not cardiac in nature would include, in descending order frequency, musculoskeletal causes, gastrointestinal causes, pulmonary etiologies, and uh, anxiety. Studies have shown that gastrointestinal causes of non-cardiac chest pain can account for as much as 10 to 15 percent of uh, patients and so it's a good sizable number and it's appropriate that we see these patients. It's quite often that patients have associated symptoms such as heartburn, trouble swallowing, and the fact that the pain is often associated with eating. There are a number of gastrointestinal diseases that can cause non-cardiac chest pain. Perhaps the most common is gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD. However, there are other causes of esophagitis, medication-induced esophagitis or infectious esophagitis, which can present like this. Also, we sometimes see patients with esophageal motility disorders, such as esophageal spasm, that can present like this. And then every now and then you'll see an occasional patient who has a rare presentation of gallbladder disease that presents with chest pain. An empiric trial of acid blockers, such as proton pump inhibitors, is often a way to come to the diagnosis, especially if patients respond well. There may also be a role for additional testing right up front, which would include an upper endoscopy, where a scope is passed into the esophagus and stomach to further evaluate those complaints. The decision to proceed in that direction would really involve factors such as patient's age and other associated symptoms. Once acid reflux is excluded as a cause for chest pain, the other diagnoses we've mentioned above can be identified through other testing such as esophageal motility testing and imaging of the gallbladder.